each one in the house of God to worship Him today. Praise God. Psalms chapter 30, verse 10. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be Thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to Thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto Thee forever. Praise God. Let's praise Him one more time. God, we love You. God, we praise You. We thank You for Your Spirit that we feel in this place. God, we thank You for Your Word. Anoint us and use us. God, in our hearts and ears to receive Your Word today. We'll praise You in Jesus' name. Praise God, praise God, praise God. And you may be seated. Reading verse 12 again, To the end that my glory may sing praise to Thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto Thee forever. Simple message this morning and a simple title Simply this, don't be silent. Don't be silent. Amen. Sometimes if we are not careful, we'll let circumstances that surround us keep us from praising and worshiping like we ought to. Amen. We'll be silent. Don't let Satan silence your worship. Yes. Don't let Satan silence your worship. Amen. Praise God. Now I realize sometimes in, in, in this life we have situations that arise and things that arise in our life. We 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 pay too much attention uh, to personalities. We pay too much attention to those around us and, and, and how their life is going and what they're doing or, or what they're not doing. And, and before you know it, we'll find ourselves kind of down and out. And, and when we come to the house of God, instead of worshiping and praising Him like we ought to, we just keep silent. Amen. Bless him, Lord. The psalmist began to write, and he said, Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Amen. And then he went on to say, to the end, that my glory may sing praise to thee, and not be silent. I think sometimes we just, Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yeah. Sometimes we we remain silent when we ought to be praising. Amen. Don't be silent. Don't be silent. Praise God. Don't let circumstances keep you from praising Jesus. Amen. I don't know about you, but I need to hear a little noise this morning. Amen. I need to hear a little praise this morning. I need to hear a little worship this morning. God. Praise God. God's still the same. Yes, He is. Yesterday, today, and forever. He's, sti he's still the same when you were on fire for God. Amen. He's still the same for when, when you ran the aisles and lifted your hands and Bless praised Him with all your heart. He's still Amen. the same. Sometimes we had circumstances keep us from worship and keep us from praise. That's right. He said, to the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. Don't be silent this morning but give God some praise and give God some glory. You still got a lot to be thankful for. Yes, sir. You still got a lot to praise Him for yes, and worship Him for this morning. Psalms 94 and 16 says this, Who will rise up against me? 
or against who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Then in verse 17, unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Don't let the enemy keep you in silence this morning. You've got an opportunity to worship God. Don't dwell in silence. Don't dwell in silence. Praise God. You go out through, throughout the Word of God. You find different ones and it's you go through the book of Psalms and how many times that David cried out unto God for God to give him a help. Amen. In all his circumstances, and there, you know, and when he find himself in trouble, Amen. he would cry out to God for help and God would help him. Yes, sir. That listen, that word cry did, don't mean all the time setting him weeping and tears flowing. That, that word cry, cry sometimes means, it means shouting out to God. Shouting out to God. Amen. Him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Sometimes we just need to shout out to Him. We just need to let it go sometimes and worship Him Amen. and praise Him and don't be silent. Amen. Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Satan would love to quiet you down. Thank God. I said Satan would love to quiet you down. Yes, he would. Praise God. But we need to make some noise for Jesus. Yes. Praise God this morning. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't be silent. Praise God. Jeremiah began to write when he when he felt like nobody was listening to him and nobody heard him. But he began to write in Jeremiah 20 and 9. He said, Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing. And I could not stay or could not stop he said it was like thank fire. You, Jesus, he said, I, I tried to be quiet. Huh? I Amen. tried to be silent. Bless him, Lord. I done told myself, I, you know, I, I'm just going to be silent. I'm not going to speak his word anymore. My, my. I'm not going to speak in his name anymore. But he said his word was in my heart. Yes, yes sir. As a burning fire. Shut up in my bones. And I was weary with for he said I was weary. I was weary with not doing it. Right. Hell, I don't know about you, but sometimes I get to the place that I'm, I'm weary when I don't praise him. Right. Yeah. Amen. I'm weary when I'm when I'm silent. Yes, sir. Sometimes I just gotta cry out to him. Sometimes I just gotta make some noise. Right. Sometimes they just got to make some noise. Amen. And Thank worship you. and praise Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He said, and I could not stay here. I could not stop myself from praising Him anymore. Thank and you, Jesus. And worshiping Him anymore. Thank you, Jesus. You see, but sometimes we let circumstances silence our praise. Uh-huh. Sometimes we let circumstances silence our praise. And, you know, we'll yeah. say, well, you just don't know what I'm going through. You just don't know what, I, what I'm facing. God knows. Yes, He does. The Bible begins to tell us in Job, first chapter, the 13th verse, Bible said there, there was a day. You know, sometimes we think we have a bad day. Mm-hmm. There was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house. 
There came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were pied, as is feeding beside them, and the spins fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they've slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only have escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, The fire of God has fallen from heaven, and hath burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I only have escaped alone to tell thee. My, my, my. While he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, The Chaldeans have made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away, yea, and slain the servants with the age of the sword. And I only have escaped alone to tell thee. While he was one, one bad news, one right after another. Somebody said, it's been a bad week, bad news, one, one right after another. Mm-hmm. Job was having a bad day. Yes, he was. Yes, sir. I said, Job was having a bad day. Amen. While he was yet speaking, there came also another that said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young man, and they are dead, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. My. Bad news. Mm-hmm. One right after Job had just in a day's time lost everything that he had. Yes, he did. Everything. You'd have thought, and it probably did, he probably was. Mm. He was probably devastated. But he had just received the worst news of his life. Amen. But look what Job did. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped. Thank you, Jesus. And worshipped. Thank you, Jesus. And you think you've got it bad. But Job did not let the circumstances that just befell him, he didn't let it stop his worship. Amen. He didn't keep silent. That's right. Because the Bible said he fell down upon the ground and worshiped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you. Praise God. Thank he you. didn't let circumstances yes. that he was in silence his worship. Amen. Praise Amen. God. We can't let the things and cares of life, the things that we're faced with, we can't let it silence our worship because the key to everything and the the key to living for God is through worship and worship of Him only. Praise God. Praise God. Somebody said, how do I get out of this man? How do I stop this, this, this discouragement? How do I stop the enemy from coming against me? How do I stop this disappointment? Worship God! Don't be silent! Amen. The Bible begins to tell us in Acts, the 16th chapter, verse 22. And the multitude rose up together against them. The magistrates ran off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks Enough to get anybody down. Amen. Yes, sir. I don't know if I had just been beaten, if I had just been cast into prison and beaten, and my feet fast and stopped, I kind of doubt if I'd feel like talking. Amen. 
I'd probably be silent. But there was something about it. There was something about the God that they served. There was something about what Paul and Silas had on in the inside of them. Even though that they'd been beaten, even though that they were in prison, they did not let it stop their praise and their worship. They couldn't contain it any longer. They couldn't hold back any longer. But what was inside of them had to come out in the form of worship and praise. Church, sometimes we need to let what's inside of us come out in the form of worship and praise. I may, I may feel like crying. I may feel like giving up. I may feel like being despondent and silent, but somehow I need to let what's inside of me come out in the form of worship and praise unto Him. Oh, praise. Oh. praise God! And at midnight, oh, in the darkest hour, Midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. Yes, sir. And the prisoners heard them. Be not silent. Don't be silent. The prisoners heard them. They were loud about what they were doing. They were loud about their sin. They were loud about their worship. They were loud about their praise. Yes. But what was inside of them, even though the stripes were on their back, were hurting and bleeding. Amen. And the stocks may have been too tight mm-hmm. on them. What the hurt that they were feeling. And the chains that they were bound with came out in the form of worship and praise unto God. I don't know your circumstances. I don't know all that you're going through. I don't know what you're feeling this morning. But I do know if you let whatever you're feeling today come out in the form of worship and praise before God, everything's going to be all right. Amen. Midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them, and suddenly. There was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open. Mm -hmm. And everyone's bands were loose. Amen. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Come Thank on. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because of two that didn't keep silent. That's right. I said because of two that didn't keep silent Come in on. their circumstances right. and began to worship and began to praise God. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because of their worship and their praise, everybody's paying yes. to lose. I may need you to worship. I may need you to worship. 
to worship her. Sing to praise her. Praise God. Praise God. Let's all I'm gonna praise you. Give me some 